Good morning, Bobcats. All right, so yesterday, um, Fudge was trying to learn to ride his bicycle, which was a catastrophe. Um, Tootsie was learning to walk, which was a catastrophe. Um, when Fudge ended up riding his bike to school, uh, ran into the bike rack, got scraped up, had to go see the nurse. And while at the nurse, he found out that Brian Tompkins, which is an author that both uh, Fudge and Peter know well because of the books that his grandmother got him, was coming to visit the school. So let's finish up chapter 11. At 10 o'clock, we all filed into the auditorium. Then Mrs. Morgan, the librarian, introduced Brian Tumpkin, telling us that millions of kids have read and loved his books and how lucky we were that he was able to make a last minute stop at our school. Brian Tumpkin walked on stage. He was tall with gray hair and a gray beard. He waved to us, then he turned and beckoned to someone backstage. I've brought a friend with me, he said. Come on, Uriah, hurry up. The boys and girls are waiting for you. Nobody came out on stage, but Brian Tumpkin pretended that Uriah had. He pretended to be holding Uriah's hand, and he kept talking to him as if he really were there. I thought, either this guy is really wacko, or he's a great actor. Finally, he looked out at the audience and asked if any of us saw Uriah. Someone down front called out, I see him! I didn't even have to look. I knew who that voice belonged to. You see, Brian Tumpkin told the rest of us, one of you can see Uriah. Come on up here, young man. Next thing I knew, Fudge was on stage. I slid down in my seat. What's your name, young man? Fudge. That's an unusual name, Brian Tumpkin said. I know it, Fudge said. How would you feel about helping me out today, Fudge? It's a real privilege, Fudge said. I couldn't believe it. He'd finally learned how to use the word. You could see that Brian Tumpkin was impressed. He said, well, it's a real privilege for me, too. That makes it unanimous, Fudge said. My, you certainly have an impressive vocabulary, Brian Tumpkin said. I learn a lot of words at home. That's wonderful. Some of them I'm not allowed to say in school. Some of them my bird can say. His name is Uncle Feather. I slid lower down in my seat. What grade are you in, Fudge? Brian Tumpkin asked. Kindergarten. Who is your teacher? I started out in, in Ratface's class, but now I'm in Miss Ziff's class. She's a lot nicer than Ratface. I covered my face with my hands. Uh, let's go to get on with our chalk talk now, shall we? Brian Tumpkin said. What's a chalk talk? Fudge asked. I'm going to sit down on my easel, Brian Tumpkin said, walking across the stage, and you're going to describe a person to me, and I'm going to draw the person you describe. Do you think you can do that? Yes, Fudge said. It's a man. Oh, I'll need more help than that, Brian Tumpkin said, picking up a piece of chalk. Is he tall or is he short? He's tall, Fudge said, and he's got a fat belly that hangs over his pants, and he's mostly bald, but he's got some hair around the edges, and he wears glasses, and he's got a pointy nose and a mustache that curls down around his mouth. Brian Tumpkin was drawing as fast as Fudge was talking. And he's got a crooked front tooth, and his feet are very long, and he walks like this, Fudge said, giving us a demonstration. Like a duck? Brian Tumpkin asked. Yes, Fudge said. All of a sudden, I knew who Fudge was describing, and I wanted to get out of the auditorium as fast as I could. But then Fudge looked out at the audience and called, Where are you, Peta? I can't see you. And I knew that I couldn't get up without having everybody look at me. So I slouched down as low as I could and did an answer. Peta, can you see me? I let out a groan. Joanne, who was sitting behind me, giggled. I can't find my brother, Fudge told Brian Tumpkin. You'll find him later, Brian Tumpkin said. Now, you haven't told me what this man is wearing. Oh, Fudge said. He's wearing a blue shirt and a tie with stripes and brown pants, and brown socks, and brown shoelaces, brown shoes, and brown shoelaces. Brown shoelaces, Brian Tumpkin repeated. Okay, there we are. He brushed off his hands and held, with the, held up the picture. Does he look like anyone you know, Fudge? Yes, Fudge said. Who? Brian Tumpkin asked. Mr. Green, Fudge said. The audience laughed. Brian Tumpkin smiled. Who's Mr. Green? The principal, Fudge said. Now the audience roared. Oh dear, Brian Tumpkin said. Oh my. He put his hand to his mouth and you could see that he was trying hard not to laugh. Mr. Green went up on the stage and went up on the stage then and introduced himself to Brian Tumpkin. They shook hands. 
Mr. Green said, I think that's a wonderful drawing and I'd like to have it for my office. Would you sign it for me? Certainly, Brian Tompkins said. I'm very glad you like it. He signed his name across the drawing and handed it to Mr. Green. Everyone clapped. Then Fudge said, Mr. Green, was this a catastrophe? And Mr. Green laughed and said, not quite, Fudge, but I'm sure you'll try hard.